Hey guys, Bill the Kansas Flamingo Chef. On the bar, I've got the six cans that we've gotten through so far. Well, that means we are halfway. And I got to tell you, so far, this has actually been a lot of fun. Uh, my two favorites by far have been the uh, Mein Gross Liebe, which is my big life, and this thing that I can't pronounce, the smoke beer. These, by, by far, my favorites thus far. So, just so you know, when I pull one of these out of the fridge, I've just got them literally covered with a, uh, uh, a towel, so I can't see which one I'm grabbing. So I really don't know until I've already pulled it out of the refrigerator. So number seven, here on the 12 beers of Christmas. Oh, it's a Dunkel. Oh, I like Dunkels. Okay, this is called, again, I'm sorry, guys, uh, Alt... Liebe, which uh, should mean afterlife, right? Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I, I speak a little bit of German, just enough to be dangerous. Anyway, um, looks like 5.2% alcohol. Kind of a pretty can with uh, some cherubs or Cupid or whatever you want to call them on it. And uh, says it's a Dunkel Weiss, so a, a wheat should be a dark wheat beer. It smells good. All right. It looks like a, a dunkel. It's not a really, really dark dunkel, but again, it's a wheat. So it's going to be a little lighter anyway. Get this stuff out of the way. And, and it is an unfiltered wheat, so it's kind of hazy. Um, don't know that I've had a wheat dunkel unfiltered before. That's kind of interesting. All right, let's give it a shot. It's good. It's, um, uh, it is definitely a wheat beer. It's very light, very crisp. There's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of heavy flavors to it. But to be that dark and still be that light and refreshing is kind of weird. But it's good. I like this one. I would say it's probably in between this and this. Um, as far as flavor profile, it's certainly not the smokiness like this is. But it's got that, and it's not a Pilsner. It is a wheat dunkel. Um, but for what it is, it's not half bad. It's very drinkable. I will say, I could drink a liter of that very easily. So, uh, it is definitely a tent beer, for those of you who know what that means. Uh, you could go through a lot of this in a hurry, because it's so easy to drink and light, but still has good flavor. So, that's number seven. That means we got five to go. If, uh, if you got any questions, if you have any suggestions, if... Uh, you have any comments on any of the ones you've seen so far? By all means, Bill at KansasFlamingoChef.com or just put a comment here on this uh, this video. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I just got home from golfing a little bit ago, so I got to do some editing on that video. I will see you soon. Eat and drink fabulous. Cheers.